Pete, many congratulations. First man through to the third round here at the Kazoo World Championship. After a really difficult few weeks for you and your family, you must have be happy just to go over that oh, first off the route. Yeah, uh, just happy with a win. Uh, obviously not happy with a performance, but you know, uh, I'll take that. You know, uh, I could have had <coughs> difficult matches in the past where players have turned up and put me out of the tournament, so I'm so happy Mickey didn't turn up. <laughs> and you've not thrown a competitive dart since last month's Grand Slam of darts, so you've now got 12 days off to prepare for your third round game. How important will that be just to prepare and get yourself ready to focus on the next day of the tournament? Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, obviously, it makes Christmas better. Obviously, uh, you know, you don't want to lose before Christmas, otherwise it's going to be a bad Christmas for everybody around you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's good and uh, it gives me more time to get on the practice board and, uh, you know, tune a few things up, try a different couple of sets maybe, just, just to see. It sounds incredible to say, really, as reigning champion, but because, because we haven't really seen you play over the last month or so, you're coming in a little bit under the radar to focus on Michael Gizzy, Michael Smith. Under the radar? <laughs> do, do you feel that almost in a way? Do you feel that there's less pressure on you and you, that suits you in a way? Uh, to be honest, I've played rubbish all year. And, uh, and, you know, that's why I'm like full favourite for the competition, you know, or when I won it uh, the first year, I think I was third or fourth favourite. You know, and I beat the favourite and the second favourite on to to win the tournament. So it doesn't matter. I hate being favourite. I'd rather be the outsider. Uh, and everyone else talking about all the all the good players instead of me. And you've won it two out of the last three years, looking to make it a hat trick of titles. You'd be the first Scottish man to do that if you could. How much of a motivation is that for you this year? Yeah, you know, it's 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 there. It's in the back of the head, and I, I, I want to. I'd like to win it, but you know, uh, obviously I've got to play a lot better than that, and uh, we'll just see. Take one game at a time. Best of luck in the crowd. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Peter, congratulations. We see Joe's here tonight. First of all, how is she, and what's the last few weeks been like for you? Uh, yeah, it's, 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 Joe's, Joe's good, and uh, obviously we've got the, I would say, like all clear type uh, that you haven't got to go back to our sport and stuff like that, which is really good. And uh, yeah, which we found out I think last Wednesday. So that was, that was a relief. That was straight away. As soon as Joe said that, I was like, I was like, like I had loads of bricks and everything just come flowing off my shoulders. It, it, it was green. Uh, so I felt quite get onto the darts, enjoy the World Championships, and just see how it goes. Was there any concern in the back of your mind that you were a little bit underprepared, obviously, because we could see that your mind wasn't on the Grand Slam of, of darts with everything that was going on and not throwing a competitive dart? Was there ever a doubt? Well, I'm underprepared. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've, I've never done so much practice on, on the ball. Yeah, I was thrown just like a zombie. I uh, waited for, obviously, no clear from Joe, but obviously, I've, I've never practiced so much in so many years. Because you don't get time to practice properly, and I practice properly. Yeah, it didn't show out there because you know, I, I I'm not like MVG Gezi who, who will just go out and destroy people and, and don't feel sorry for people. You know, Mickey Mantle, I love him bits, and he's a fantastic player. And even if I played another player, he, he, he wasn't in his full game. I want them to play their game because it's the World Championships and stuff like that. And you know, I was trying to help, trying to help Mickey in the back room. I was saying, "Come on, man!" It's just like, and it, you know, it's very difficult for <coughs> uh, the players who got to play that first first game on. You know, got here about three o'clock, two o'clock, and he's got to play about like, ten o'clock at night, and yeah, that's that's very difficult. So maybe you know, PDC can find different way of maybe doing it for all the first round guys you know so you know it's not a disadvantage you know it's obviously Grant played well tonight he's got to play tomorrow afternoon uh, so uh, yeah, it's, it was an advantage for me because obviously Mickey didn't turn up last time you were the reigning champion coming back here it was under very different circumstances what would it like to be Introduce the reigning champion in front of a full house here for the first time. 
Yeah, that was that, that was that was better, wasn't it? Um, and at least we know we we know you know we're not going to get another lockdown from a second round game, <laughs> and then I'm going to go up to Gabriel Clemens. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and that's not going to happen. But you know, obviously, I've got a difficult game, either Kim Hybrex or Grant. So, uh, whoever wins that game, you know, I've got to be ready for it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, where do you feel your game is at the moment coming into this World Championship? I feel, I feel, I feel really good. Uh, but now I've got a bonus 10, 12 days, or 12 days. Days, yeah. I've got another 12 days to. Uh, you know, improve it, you know. I can go up to 89 or something like that, or 90, yeah, but... Will it be straight back <laughs> on the practice squad when you get home in between now and your next match? Uh, yeah, obviously I'll be on the practice squad, uh, but uh, I've done enough practice over the past month and I'm ready for the World Championships anyway, so, you know, uh, people might say, because I haven't played competitive darts, but I know how to win this tournament, I don't need to play uh, people playing the players' championships. I don't need to play the Grand Slam against the best players in the world. It's doing the right things at the right time. Do you feel any sort of added weight of expectation as defending champion? Uh, you know, I wanted to go out there and have a nice, great big average to set, you know, set it out. But you know, it doesn't matter as long as it's a win. Just. Um, Peter, was it more valuable to you getting the practice your way rather than going to the Players' Championship? Has, has that worked out better for you? Uh, well, I'd like to go to the Players' Championships, obviously, but, you know, uh, uh, Joe's health was more important than uh, going to all the way to Minehead. You know, what a shoe place to put it. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Minehead's a brilliant place for all the dark fans and everything. Not for the dark place. Uh, <laughs> Unless you live down there. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but yeah, I'm gutted as the reigning champion not going there to defend it. You know, because you know it's a difficult tournament, uh, and well done to MBG for winning it. Mm. You picked up earlier saying fourth favourite in the betting. Do you feel like that's a, a fair reflection of your year? Uh, no, I probably. I don't know, I'd probably, I'd probably be generous to put me at about 50 to 1 if I was the boogies. Cheers, <laughs> Pete. Any more for the immediate uh, use? Yeah.